Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Flame of Love Radio Maria program here on YouTube, as well as Radio Maria USA. Welcome to our third installment of um, the spiritual um, weekly agenda of the Flame of Love Immaculate Heart of Mary. My name is Jill Metz, and I'm the National U.S. Director. And with me today, I have Lori Met or Lori Brown, who is our Regional Coordinator for both the North and the Midwest. Hi, Lori. Lori, you're muted. I'm sorry. I said it's a joy to be together again. We have uh, some really good wonderful divine passages to dig into today beautiful and you know when i was thinking about being together today one of the things i think would be great that we could start off by just reiterating about why the weekly agenda the spiritual exercises of the flame of love are efficacious not only for our members um, but in particular for the time we are in right now did you want to um, share anything about that? Yes. You know, we talk a lot about the three main prayers, the four main prayers of the flame of love. And we talk about the messages. We don't always hear a lot about the agenda that Jesus gave us, the spiritual task that he recommends that we do each day of the week. This is part of the battle plan. This is super important because Heaven has a timetable. We know that in the diary, we're told that this is an era of grace that's coming about and that there is a set time for everything. And so we need to do our part. We need to understand what we can do each day. And these little tasks, they're pretty, pretty simple, honestly. And I think we can all do it. So we're glad you tuned in and you have a desire to understand what they're calling us to. And then we can ask for the grace and we can respond. Amen. And I think, too, there are so many different devotions in the church right now. We know that and they're all great. And they're, you know, it's hard to partake in all of them. It's impossible to partake in all of them. Um, so what I love about the weekly agenda is that this is from Jesus himself. This is what he says in the spiritual diary about the weekly spiritual agenda on page 24. This is Jesus again talking to Elizabeth Kendallman, and he says, My daughter, I'm now going to sp specify how each day of the week should be allocated. If you remember, I began to speak about this previously. However, I put this off until today to include more things in your schedule. Come, if you have time, if you have plenty of it, tell me. The decision is yours. I respect your free will completely. You flatter me if you abandon it spontaneously to me. And so what our Lord is asking is that we give our will to him, that we give mm -hmm. not only our prayers and our sacrifices, but our very desires, that if we can give him everything, that he will arrange our week according to um, his good pleasure. So I'm all about that. <laughs> You know, I, you know, we have such a busy life, all of us do. And if I could have Jesus order my week, I'm going to do that. And so for, for me, and I know for Lori as well, the weekly agenda has been a great blessing in helping us to um, not only order our week, but to be confident in how we're ordering it. So in part one of the weekly agenda, or part one of the series, we talked about Monday through Wednesday. And really, we discussed in depth um, about the night vigils and how that looks and, and possibly looks different for each person. And then in part two, we discussed Thursday and Friday promises in the flame of love, which hold with it a grace and a promise for a family holy hour. Um, the, and then we went into good detail about fasting, how that looks in um, accord to keeping up with the weekly agenda. Um, and then also we even discuss how fasting and, and offering sacrifices and prayers could be done in little ways. It doesn't always have to be um, what we think about when we think about Lent. 
um, and going into these extreme um, opportunities for sacrifice, um, we, we can look at this as how can we give up each and every day just little things um, and live a spiritual life in the flame of love. So today in part three of our series on the weekly agenda, we're going to talk about the Friday and the Saturday and the Sunday promises. Um, and so without further ado, for those that are just joining us, I would recommend that you go onto our flameoflove.us um, website. And if you go to the tab under living the flame of love, you'll see the weekly agenda and on that page, you can download your own um, handout that we're um, reading from today so that you can follow along with us. So, Lori, would you like to, if you would, start us off where we left off, which is Friday, the day of my passion? You know, a good way to start that would be with blessing ourselves the five times. Um, and that would be in honor of Jesus' wounds. And I, I especially like this on Fridays because it's a, in fact, it's a brief way to really meditate on the torture, the suffering that he went through for us. We think about his wounds now. So my adorable Jesus, we kiss the wound of your sacred left hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred left foot with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And we kiss the wound of your sacred right hand with sorrow deep and true. Right foot, excuse me, with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And lastly, we kiss the wound of your sacred side with sorrow deep and true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And you know, uh, having the phone ring during this, um, just and it threw me off. It reminds me, though, of our weakness. It reminds me of the human condition we're in. And I think it's super important to remember that as we attempt to follow these this invitation from Jesus. Don't beat yourself up if you don't do it perfectly, because you're not going to. We're human. We, we're weak. We, we fall. And Jesus knows that. But the key is get back up and go to him humbly. Jesus, give me the grace to do it. So, would you like me to read it, Jill? Beautiful. I And I thank you for reminding us about the call to prayer to begin our show. So let's continue on first in that vein and pray together the unity prayer, again, with the promise that it will blind Satan. So we could, um, I'll start. And if you want to um, do it together, Lori, that'd be great. In the name of the Father, yes. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus. May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. And may our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. And may our lips pray together to gain mercy from the eternal Father. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So um, we got our introduction set and we've um, helped everyone to discover the, what we did the first two um, parts of the series. And now we will go on now with the Friday, the day of my passion. Yes. And so Jesus tells us, again, as Jill said, this is from Jesus. And he sees the world situation. He knows what's needed right now. And this is what he recommends on Fridays. He says, with all the love of your heart, immerse yourself in my sorrowful passion. When you arise in the morning, recall what was awaiting me the entire day after the terrible torments of that night. While at work, contemplate the way of the cross and consider that I did not have 
any moment of rest. Totally exhausted, I was forced to climb the Mount of Calvary. There is much to contemplate. I went the limit and I tell you, you cannot go to excess in doing something for me. From noon until three, adore my sacred wounds. Hopefully you can keep fasting until the time my sacred body was taken down from the cross. If you accept to sacrifice yourself, my daughter, you will receive an even greater abundance of graces, abundance of grace. And so, wow, um, obviously this is a total focus on what Jesus went through on Fridays and on Good Friday, excuse me. So every Friday we try to remind ourselves and what it does is it fans the flame. It causes you to fall more deeply in love with Jesus. And so, yes, you, you can attempt to do this and you may have three hours pass and you say, oh my goodness, I didn't think about his passion at all. That's why we start by saying on Friday, as Jill said, release yourself, say, Jesus, I want to do this, but I am weak. Help me to think about your passion. And of course, we have Blessed Mother. We have our guardian angel who can help us. We have the Holy Spirit and our Father. So just be sure. And that's what our salvation is. It's all about trust. It's having faith and confidence in God, right? So that's, I think, what's important. It's not like we're going to do this great thing for God. Um, we want to collaborate with him in these graces. So I try to, and, and again, you you make the effort and you try and you keep trying and trying. And so now I am in the habit on a Friday, I'll wake up and I'll think, oh, okay, this is Friday. And you had to think about what you were faced for that day. And how did that feel, Jesus? And think about any little annoyances or inconveniences I have for that day. And all of a sudden they're very minuscule. They don't seem like much at all. Is that how you approach it too, Jill? Yes, um, I think something that really helped me personally in um, entering into the Friday um, offering is remembering that every Friday is a good Friday. That if we mm. approach every Friday of the year as if it's good Friday, then we're going to do exactly what our Lord is asking us here. Notice in this passage on this is on page 25 of the spiritual diary. The Lord uses the words, things like recall. When you arise in the morning, recall what was waiting me the entire day after that terrible torment of the night. And then he goes on to say, while at work, contemplate. And then he goes on to say, there is much to contemplate. So what our Lord, I believe, is asking us for Fridays is to really enter in again and think about, keep his passion on your on your mind, in your, in your, on your lips, in your heart, the entire day. If you could rise with the unity prayer or the meditation of the five wounds, that's the great first step before you even get out of bed. Pray the unity prayer. Kiss and venerate the five wounds of Jesus um, throughout the day. And if you can, I know that on Thursdays, we do make reparation to the Blessed Sacrament. But if you're able to, again, stop and um, venerate the cross in your home, you can venerate the crucifix by meditating on the five wounds at daily mass on Fridays, venerating again um, the five wounds um, of the cross is very efficacious. Um, but in this passage, pointing out that what he's asking us to do is contemplate with him. Remember, recall, he wants us to enter in to the unity prayer. So this is the day that we really um, place that on the lampstand. And I, I like that. If we do begin our day before your feet hit the floor with the unity prayer, automatically we're saying yes to Jesus and we're following him. We're letting him lead. And we're uniting ourselves to him. And on page 30 of the diary, for any of you that have your diary out, he says, tell them they must live in intimate union with me. Mm. And that's, that's the key, I think, is that we enter into intimate union with him and let his grace do the hard work of taking over in our thoughts and helping us to think about this, what he suffered. Also, Friday, the fast. Um, 
that's uh, again, we, we won't, he says bread and water if possible, but we know everyone's in a different place physically and even age wise. So you pray and discern what you can do, but it's some sort of self-denial in honor of, and also to help ourselves stay in touch with the fact that he suffered for us. Mm -hmm. So we want to do that. And he says, as we do these prayers, as we enter into the fast, he said, it's bringing grace to others that if you feel like, well, you may be nearly a perfect Christian. Well, then our next task is always to be bringing as many souls as possible along with us. That's part of our baptismal call, actually, is that mission to enter into his mission. So, so I like that you, we talked about adoring the sacred wounds and it says in the second part here from noon until three, adore my sacred wounds. So what does that look like in particular? Well, we don't have a clear vision of what that looks like. So what we do understand is that he's saying, hopefully you can keep fasting until the time my sacred body was taken down from the cross. So there's two parts to that from noon until three, adoring my sacred wounds. Something that you can do is at the top of every hour, again, um, adore his sacred wounds through the five, through the prayer that we just did together. Um, and then the, the fast on, on um, Friday is not something that is required. It's saying, hopefully you can keep fasting until the time my sacred body was taken down from the cross. That we believe is six o'clock. Um, that, and then here's what it says. Then on that day, offer the night prayer for the 12 priests. So we're also, if we're able to do a night prayer for um, the 12 priests that were in, in Hungary and that we hope to get into the U.S. But it's saying, if you accept to sacrifice yourself, here's the, the ultimate promise. My daughter, you will receive an even greater abundance of graces. So it is that unity that our Lord is asking for. Um, and as you mentioned, and, and the two prayers that we recommend for Thursdays are the veneration of the five wounds and the unity prayer. If you do those things um, and with the desire to repair and to enter into his passion, the Holy Spirit will guide you. Um, any any comments I have about that, Lori, before we go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, another thought on that is uh, in another place in the diary, Jesus tells us that Thursdays and Fridays are days of great grace. Yeah. But he also goes on to say days of suffering. So he's going to, just like at Fatima, where Mary asked the children, are you willing to accept the sufferings that God's going to send you? This is nothing new. This is what our Lord offers to his followers because we're following him in his footsteps and he suffered for us, right? And plus, are there any of us here or out there, any of you that don't have some suffering in your life? So where I'm going with this is you have lots to offer up on a Friday, and but always do it in union with Jesus' work on the cross. Then it's much more meritorious. Jesus, I offer this to you. Start with your morning offering. That's my companion prayer with the unity prayer, because then everything is offered during your day and it becomes quite meritorious just to live your life in, in one day. I'm glad that you brought up the morning offering because we do, we forget that um, those opportunities where we could be offering something, you know, maybe it's not first on our, our thought or maybe you're again, busy moving throughout your day. That morning offering covers us that everything that we do that day will be offered up for the reparation of souls. So that I'm really glad that you mentioned that. The other Last comment I'd like to make on um, that Friday and, and something that you can do for that fast is, of course, fast from meat that day. I encourage Catholics and all, all souls to give up meat on Friday year round. You know, it, it is it is a, a little, little thing that we can do, again, to um, give up our wants for Jesus. And you know, that's our bishops have asked us to do that. It's an invitation. It's not a mandate, but it's an invitation specifically to save the babies. And we have abortion that is 
it's still, we have this horrible blindness in our country that this is okay. These are unborn citizens of the United States. They deserve to live like we do. So this is what the bishops have said. Give up meat on Fridays and offer it for an end to abortion. Amen. Thank you, Lori. That's beautiful. Okay, well, let's move on then to Saturday. And this is the day of our mother. Would you like to read, Lori? Sure. This is like one of my favorites, by the way. <laughs> and so just, just let each of these words soak in. Remember, these are Jesus' words. On this day, venerate our mother in a special way with a very particular tenderness. As you are well aware, she is the mother of all graces. Wish that she be venerated on earth as she is venerated in heaven by the multitude of angels and saints. Seek for agonizing priests the grace of a holy death. Offer every moment of the day for that purpose. What a great reward you will receive. In heaven, priestly souls will intercede for you, and the Most Holy Virgin will be waiting for your soul at the hour of your death. Hmm. Offer the night vigil for this intention also. So we, um, our Lord is asking us again for the night vigil. Um, we can start there that, um, again, Many of you know that are in the flame of love that we have three main pillars in the flame of love. And that is for families, number one, for priests, number two, and for the poor souls in purgatory, number three. So when you read the spiritual diary, those three um, pillars to these prayers are, are what Our Lady has given us these graces for. So we can see um, that she's asking again for a night vigil. We discussed the night vigil uh, really at length on our first series to this three-part series. So I encourage you to listen to what a night vigil looks like. Um, but I, again, we look at the promises. What a great reward you will receive in heaven priestly souls will intercede for you and the most holy virgin will be waiting for your soul at the hour of death. Wow. Offer the night vigils for this intention. So we have a special, our lady is asking us um, to venerate her tenderness. Um, in particular, I'm sorry, Jesus is asking us to venerate his mother with a particular tenderness on that day. But we can see also that she is asking that we pray for priests on Saturday. And you know, uh, a thought here from Lumen Gentium. This is one of the Vatican II documents on the church. In chapter eight, we, it's dedicated to our Blessed Mother. I would strongly recommend everyone read that if you really want to get even a deeper, bigger sense of, of what who Mary is to us. She's our mother. And Jesus says right here, she's the mother of all graces. And we're told in Lumen Gentium that she has not laid aside that, that role, that calling of motherhood when she went to heaven. No, she's now got all of us as her children as well. For she gave birth to Jesus, but she's the mother of, the, of Jesus. And that's his entire body. He's the head and we are the body of Christ. And she is the neck is what St. Bernard said. And St. Thomas Aquinas uh, addresses it. And St. Pope Pius X. He talks about her being the channel of all graces. So this is this is a real thing. And I could name many, many other popes that said she is the mediatrix of all graces. So we should venerate her. We should just yes. love on her and just, just keep it simple like a child. You know, Mother, I love you so much. Stop for the Angelus. Start your day with the Angelus. Of course, traditionally, six in the morning, noon, six at night, we can stop and do that beautiful prayer to her. But just pray Hail Mary which the flame of love, Hail Mary, she says it must be a, an unceasing supplication. Just keep praying that. And it's like, it's like when we're praying that Hail Mary with the flame of love, there's a rain shower of graces coming down from heaven. It's, it's bringing it into souls, untold souls all over this planet. Beautiful. I love the two that you brought up, um, the, the part where it says, she is the mother of all graces. 
as you said, many popes talk about Our Lady as the mediatrix of all graces. We we hope that this will become the fifth Marian dogma, right? Our Lady mediac, mediatrix of all grace. Um, but for those who suffer or struggle, I shouldn't say suffer, but struggle with understanding this, um, it's okay. <laughs> I also suffered and struggled with understanding Our Lady's role. And I think that it goes back down to what we've talked about throughout the series is your desire. Do you have a desire in your heart to know our Blessed Mother? Do you have a desire in your heart to want to know her more? If you have that desire, it will be quenched. She will quench it. So if 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 you struggle in it, it's okay. She's not afraid of your struggle. She is a mother, a perfect mother. The main thing is, is that you um, would persevere in your desire to want to know her more. If you're doing that, she will show up for you as she has for myself and for Lori. And, and a, a thought on that from St. Maximilian Kolbe, he said, we could never love her more than Jesus does. <laughs> but don't, don't let Satan do that to you, that, oh, you're giving her too much attention. No, in fact, one of my favorite little prayers is, Jesus, help me to love your mother with your love. And Mary, help me to love Jesus with your love. Amen. So ask them, you can't go wrong with that, right? <laughs> Amen. Yes. I wanted to touch base on a, a promise for um, the first Thursday and Friday. Again, we talked about the promises associating with Thursday and Friday, but I found on page 160 of the Spiritual Diary, um, this part of the passage where it talks about their special graces that come to us on the first Thursday and the first Friday of each month. So I'm quickly going to read that before we go on to um, Sunday. Um, so it says, according to the Lord, well, let me read from here. Jesus says, you no longer doubt that I have chosen you to be a worker of redemption. Many missionary priests cannot do more than what you do. Your constantly renewed sacrifices and unceasing efforts are most pleasing to me. Your living faith in me keeps your soul in a continual freshness and makes you ready to receive abundant graces. Hence, my little one, do not serve anyone but me. And then it says, according to the Lord, this also implies for all those making sacrifices for his work of redemption. The first Thursdays and first Fridays of each month are special days of suffering. On those days, the Lord Jesus pours them out in a greater measure. Today, he said, this comes from Jesus. The harvest is bountiful, but the workers are few, especially those who, with full heart and soul, enlist among my workers. You understand, do you not? Do you not do unwillingly what you are doing? Or it says, do not do unwillingly what you are doing. Burn like the bush that burned, but was not consumed. I need a similar sacrifice, which is never consumed, and of which the flaming of, of and of which the flame burning from love touches me. So again, our Lord is not asking us to sacrifice just one day a week. He 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 needs us to enter in to a life of reparation with him in union with him. This is the heart of the flame of love. And he, here's the good part of it, through our lady gives us all the graces that we need to not only do it, but to make our little offerings very, very efficacious for the salvation of souls. So we have 54 seconds left to touch on Sunday and we cannot do a part five or part four. So we're going to enter now into our Sunday promise. And I'll read that here again. Um, this is in the spiritual diary on page 26. It says, for this day, the lovable Redeemer gives no specific directions. However, Mary later instructed Elizabeth about Sunday's intention. And here's what it says. Even on Sunday, your day of rest, you will do visuals and attend as many masses as possible. Offer them for the youth. Think of the many children guided every year to my divine son. How many souls are lost? 
not taking root because no one is concerned about their spiritual progress, offer these days, especially for the young, even when my, even when my most holy son was tried, tired, he wanted the children to come to him. That is why you also must never be tired. You know, it is him who asks you to continually share in, in his work of redemption. So Lori, any closing thoughts as we talk about Sunday? Um, reminding everyone and our listeners that this, um, this was a, particularly for Elizabeth. So doing the night vigils for the youth and also as many masses as possible possible. Now we know that there are, we cannot receive more than two times on Sunday or any day of the week, um, Holy Communion. And that second time must be within the confides of an actual mass. So we're not encouraging you to go to seven masses and receive Holy Communion. What we are encouraging, if you're able to attend the masses as you feel called and led, but that does not mean that you have to receive or you should receive communion at every single mass. Um, any a special it, emphasis. Go ahead, Lori, please. A special emphasis is the children, I think. And that is so many children are brought to be baptized at the church, right? That's what a lot of Catholic parents will do. Most, I hope all, yes. that's not true. But when they do, then then there's part B, and that is you have to form them in the faith. You have to raise them in the faith, and that's not happening in so many, so many ways. So this is a very holy and important uh, intention on Sundays. Other than that, we have no special tasks. It's like the Lord gives us a day of rest. But yes, pray more and think of the babies, especially the children that are not being formed in the faith and pray for them. Beautiful. And I want to end and close this series out with this one. Um, this is a, a passage from Jesus himself in the spiritual diary on page 23. And it says, I always tell you not to worry that you can give me only little things. I say again, always remain little. Do you know what you, we are going to do? You will give me the little pieces of a mosaic which you collect throughout the day. I will arrange these pieces according to their colors and shape. When all is finished, you will marvel to see the work of art that I created. But I cannot be an artist unless you gather the pieces. Without you, I cannot bring about my work of art. And so the work of art is the salvation of souls. And the Lord's reminding us, and we want to close with this, that everything that you offer to the Lord for the sake of souls will be caught in the net of Our Lady's love. Never think that you are not giving enough or doing enough. It is your desire to grow in holiness. And as Lori said, in our, in our weakness, we are strong. Um, so we encourage you to continue on. Um, the Lord's love knows no limits, no limits. And he, with Our Lady's um, flame of love graces, will show us the way. So thank you all for joining us on this third part three of the weekly spiritual agenda. And again, um, we look forward to um, sharing the flame of love with you. Be sure to pass it on to others, at least one more soul. And this we pray. Thank you all. God bless you. Bye. God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery, the baptism in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fifth Luminous Mystery, The Institution of the Eucharist Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Saint Michael the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. 
Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.